Okay, different ways to use intuition for body care. So today, as I was getting out my collagen and some nutrient powders, they came to me to share this. So here we are, I'll share it. So if you've ever worked with me, you've seen muscle testing. Um, I do muscle testing a lot in my sessions. And muscle testing is one way that you can interview or communicate with your own body or with your unconscious mind or your energy field, whatever. There's multiple ways to conceptualize the inner state and what is not in the conscious mind. But our body is genius. It already knows everything. It knows every cell in our body, it knows what it's doing, like your brain. It knows every cell in your body is getting reports on what it's doing, all the different cells, the state of them, if they're too acidic, if they're getting damaged, if like all what position they're in with gravity, like your bot, your system already knows everything about your body. And this is one really awesome area we can experience our intuition um, communicating with our system. So, um, okay. So one way to do it is with muscle testing. Muscle testing is just one of many methods though. Um, you can intuit with any form of communication, which includes all of your senses, sight, sound, touch, sensation, inner sensation, feelings. There's a lot of ways where you can experience your own intuition. And your body is a great area to do it because your body is your stewardship. Like you're the one in charge of and the supervisor and the caretaker for your body. Your body is your responsibility and your stewardship. So you can, you're entitled to information about it. And you can, you're entitled to all of the information about your body and to make decisions to take care of it. So um, one thing you can do is ask your body what it needs. So when it comes to food, your body literally knows exactly what it needs. It knows how, what vitamins it's currently in need of, what um, protein, carb, um, fat, it knows what it's currently in need of and needing you to ingest so that it has the ingredients and the building blocks it needs to continue the functions of staying alive and taking care of all of your many cells and systems. So if you had a way to interview it, you could get down to the nitty gritty. You could say, do you need vitamin C right now? No, you're good. You're topped off. Okay. Do you need magnesium right now? You do? How much? Like you could get into the exact details. And in fact, sharing right now, I remember a story of someone, a story in Japan, of a practitioner. I don't know how they were doing it. It could have been muscle testing. They worked with a client who was very, very overweight. Um, and they identified exactly what their client, what that client needed to eat moment by moment, day by day. And they reduced, they released excess fat rapidly, like way more rapidly than it's considered the norm or people have even heard of in America or like with modern perspectives. Um, yeah. And I could imagine it being because they identified exactly what the body did need to consume in order to sustain life and to keep doing its functions and didn't eat anything excess of that. So if we can do that, it's possible. We can do it. Anyway, so coming back to us, you can interview your body and find out what it wants to eat. And you've probably already experienced this when you think of what to eat next for your next meal. I'm getting hungry. Okay, thinking about my next meal, you know, we've got this and this and this in the fridge. And you may have even felt your, your system say, no, uh, yes, <laughs> yes to that option. It can happen as you open the fridge and you're just looking at it, you're, you might get a, a sensation in your body. You might feel a feeling of happiness when you, your eyes fall on the option that your body wants, which would be the most beneficial of all the options available. Or you may have also experienced, it can be emotionally driven, or it can be just feedback from the body. You may have at times experienced, no, 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 huh. I don't really feel drawn to eat anything in the fridge right now. And then look in the freezer, oh, that really, mm, frozen salmon, yes. My body is really lit up when that was a, became an option in my mind. Um, so you may have already experienced this. Um, or even like literally getting drawn towards like looking in the pantry or the fridge and feeling so drawn. Wow, I want that. I want that. Or aware of like, whoa, hmm, nothing here feels good. Oh, you know what? Um, fresh fruit at the store or fresh vegetables or something that's not presently here. You can feel like, oh, 
oh, I feel like thirsty for like, for fresh vegetables. Okay, apparently that's what my body needs. Okay, so we've gone through all of that to say this. All right, so as I was getting out my collagen to add to my nutrient powder post-workout today, um, I always muscle test or I always intuit how much, just asking my body ongoing whenever I'm preparing food or getting ready to eat something or asking what serving size my body needs of things. Um, I, I got one scoop, so that's what I did. Um, but I wanted to share, there's a lot of different ways to do that. So you can ask your body how much, like what it wants, and then once you identify what it wants, you can get quantities. And I'll share a couple ways to do it. And anyone else can share additional ways in the comments. Okay, so one way is muscle testing. You can literally ask yes and no questions and your body can tell you. For some people, muscle testing just is really awesome. And there's lots of other ways to do it if it doesn't resonate with you. So I can just ask my body, my body needs collagen right now. Yeah, I benefit from that, yeah. Okay, how much, one scoop? Yeah, two scoops, no, one and a half, no, one. All right, one scoop. But you also could get that same awareness and clarity uh, visually. You might get the visual of one scoop or you might get a visual of two little scoops, or you might get a visual of one and a half scoop, or you could also get it sensation wise. So you could listen inside your body. So some people might feel it and feel, yes, I feel so drawn to this. I feel so drawn to this. I'm pouring a scoop, feels awesome. Scooping again, I begin pouring it and halfway through I feel, mm. oh, okay, no more is needed. One and a half scoops it is. So you could feel sensation wise of feeling a draw towards, or this feels so good, or yes, 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 yes. And then no, or like I'm done. Um, you can also get a visual with numbers, with like a one, visually see a one, or visually see a two, or a 1.5. You can also hear, some people, yeah, you can hear intuitively, hear one. Um, or just have a knowing come in of like, wow, I just know that one scoop is the serving for right now. Awesome. You can also feel emotionally, um, similar to the last example, uh, I'm feeling this uplifting yes feeling. And then as I am doing it, I pour one scoop and I go to get another one and I get a mm, feeling. <laughs> so emotion, or it could be an actual sensation somewhere in the body. Oh, and there's others, okay. Oh, sway test. You can also, oops, this is just a bottle, but you can also use a sway test, which is also like muscle testing. And you can, you don't have to hold, you can just think about it, but you can hold something and say, does my body want this right now? And you'll get a sway forward usually. And then you can say, okay, one scoop. Yes, okay. My body wants two scoops right now. Nope, one and a half. Yeah, one and a half scoops, deal. You can hold it against your chest or you can just think about it. Holding it sometimes can make it easier. Okay, so there you go. There's a handful of ways to intuit and listen to your intuition for questions about your body care. And it's really fun. I highly recommend it. You can interview your body about all kinds of things, supplements, food, ratios, quantities, times of day. Um, am I hunt Do I need food right now? Am I thirsty? Oh. Yeah, I started to feel kind of munchy or something. And I could ask my body and I heard it say, oh, I need more water is what my body needs right now. All right, cheers. If you have awesome experiences you wanna share, go ahead and put them down in the comments.